up, dudes? So today, I feel like we always start today. Our videos like this. So today, we are gonna be talking about something that's been requested us to talk about a lot, and that is our health and fitness experience and before we get into that we wanted to give a disclaimer to let you guys know we are not certified or experts we're literally just speaking from experience and what's worked for us and what works for us may not work for everyone else but I feel like it's helpful to learn from other people's experiences and um, that's why we're making this video something I just wanted to say to all you ladies out there don't compare your body to other girls I know it's so hard and I find myself doing it too but your body is different so how are you expecting it to look the same so don't do that. That's not gonna help you. Just love yourself. Love your body. Good advice. That's good. And that's what I have to say. How many times do you work out in a week? So for those of you guys that don't know, we do CrossFit and we started that back in January. January of and this year. It wasn't because we were looking for it, it's because it was the only gym. We started going and we just fell in love with it. And now I would say I probably go three to five times a week. Yeah. I go a minimum of four. I go four or five. But I didn't start off like that, might I add. I started off by doing four and then I yeah. upped it to five. Also, can we just take a second to admire how hot Abby looks in this outfit? She's wearing a whole jumpsuit, you guys. And we're about to go get photos taken right now. Yeah, so by the time you're watching this video, these photos are probably posted, so. Yeah. If you wanna do us a favor, go just like go those ahead and on our Instagram. on Instagram. And That'd like, be great. You should definitely follow us on Instagram. Quick plug. And smash the like button. I mean, gently tap the like button. Click. Gently tap. Just click. click it. Just click just the like button. Simple. This is a really good question. What healthy meals do you like and recommend? So we just had some Greek food from, for dinner. It was a Greek bowl with chicken and cucumber, tomato, red pepper, like so many different Olives. good, healthy, fresh ingredients. I love dinners like that. So I would say like, that's probably like my favorite thing to eat. Well, I, I think a good rule of thumb that we follow for dinners usually is like mm -hmm. try to have protein, try to have a carb and try to have veggies. Yeah, I and love veggies. What footwear do you use? I wear secondhand ASICs that I got for $35. They honestly work great, but now I've worn them out so much because I've worn them a lot. So I'm in the market for some new shoes. I really love my Hoka's that I had the shoes before my Asics, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking about getting Hoka's again. What is your favorite and least favorite exercise? That's a really good question. Like because, CrossFit exercise? Yeah, because used to I would be like, dude, I hate leg day. I hate doing squats. I hate mm. doing deadlifts. But now I'm starting to like that more. Favorite for me is definitely bench because I feel like I like seeing my chest get all big. I like bench too. Isn't bench fun? And I think it's just because I I'm I'm kind of decent at it. My least favorite is probably wall balls. I can't really think of something for my least favorite. Probably cardio in general. I'm not a big cardio guy. Abby, how do you stay motivated? I have never stuck to like a consistent <laughs> workout routine for more than like a couple months because I'm a socially motivated person. So therefore group fitness is a great option for me because I can mm -hmm. go and I can be around people, be motivated by people. I, I have relationships with them so they'll know if I'm not there, things like that. Like group fitness is what really keeps me motivated. But also what is underlying that, like the deeper meaning is like, I genuinely want to take care of my body. I'm very thankful for the things mm -hmm. my body is able to do for me. I want to keep it healthy and I want to take care of it. And that goes for mental health, my physical well-being, like all of it. Do you track calories and macros daily to keep in shape? Um, no. And the short answer to that is that I'm not in a place where I need to do that. Yeah. My health is, I'm healthy. Like I'm not in any kind of, I don't need any dramatic weight gain or dramatic weight yeah. loss. And I think that there will be a time in my life probably where I may want to do that in the future, but I'm just, that's not where I'm at right now. A really good question here is how to start when you don't have the money for the gym. Ooh. That's valid. Um, Cause yeah, you're right. The gym can be really expensive. I mean, we spend 180 bucks a month for both of us and some people just can't afford that. I think something I've learned is, you know, obviously going to the gym for us takes discipline and it'd be way harder for us to stay physically fit if we weren't going to the gym. But if you're in the position where you don't have the money, I think there's a lot of really good fitness channels on YouTube where you can find mm -hmm. like an at-home fitness workout to do and just be disciplined with yourself on actually doing those. I think a great way to do that, to be disciplined, is having a, a workout buddy. Because I think just having that accountability is really important. That's why group fitness has worked so well for me. Another question is, what is your natural body type? You like, have the body type of a gymnast. You really do. Because you, yeah. you put on muscle easily. 
and short Abby's calf powerhouse. muscles. Abby's calf muscles are like the size of my calf muscles because she did point, you guys. I'm a little powerhouse. I'm probably I'm probably more of like the body type of a runner because I'm like a skinny dude, and then you're more of like the gymnast. Can I also just add, I don't know if there's any questions about this, but like what physical fitness does for your mental health? I can tell you a day where I work out, like it's going to be more productive. I'm mm-hmm. going to feel happier. I'm going to feel more motivated to do anything whether that's work or play i'm gonna feel more motivated to just get out and do something rainbow there's a rainbow it's the biggest rainbow ever i don't even see it whoa wow that's really pretty one of the questions is how much water do you drink in a day dude you drink so much water (laughs) i drink two of these which is over a gallon but also i don't um regulate it because sometimes Matt drinks from my water and sometimes I don't fill it up all the way. Mm-hmm. But basically, like, I drink about a gallon. Next question is, what kind of protein powder do you use? We buy this really big bag at Costco. Gold standard, like, 100% whey. If I had unlimited budget, I would for sure buy the bottled protein drinks from either Alani New or Premier Protein or any of those like bottled ones. Yeah. Those are so good. But yeah, we just get the powder from Costco. Well, it's, it's so much more affordable. And then affordable. dump it in because it's way more affordable and it tastes good too. Well, it's like 50 bucks for the bag. That's the thing. You got to buy it in bulk. So we do, we drop 50 bucks on this big bag of protein, but then it lasts us for months. Hey, you should hit the like button. How do I become brave to go to the gym? It can be intimidating. I think I think it's more in your head than you realize. Like this idea of you being the you new person at the gym. You just gotta like get there. You just gotta get there. People want you to come. Like people are excited to see new people. I feel like there's a lot of really nice people at the gym and this idea that you may have in your head that you're not gonna be accepted, I don't I don't really see that happening. Anytime I see someone new at the gym now, I always make sure I say hi yeah. because I felt really intimidated and someone said hi to me and then like kind of became my friend and then I felt so much better. Exactly. So, there's so many people like that at gyms all over. Yeah, just know that they are going to be happy to have you there. Mm-hmm. How do you stay away from junk food? Oh, that's We tough. don't. <laughs> That's tough because sometimes we just really overdo it. I will say though, we don't really overdo it. I mean, like I almost finished a whole entire family size bag of Sun Chips yesterday. That's all right. I would say that's how we stay away is that we don't buy it from the grocery store. Oh like, yes, that's the right answer. <laughs> so we, we don't buy stuff that we wouldn't. We don't buy junk food at the grocery store. We don't really store. buy dessert. And it's like if we're gonna eat junk food, then it's gonna be junk food. I think that every food can belong in a healthy diet, but if we eat like quote unquote junk foods, it's because we are going out to eat or picking up a snack with friends. And it forces those experiences to be like, we're splurging for a social experience. I so agree though. I think keeping junk food out of the house really, really helps because when I get hungry, like I just want to literally eat anything at my fingertips. And if it's healthy snacks that are readily available, then that really helps me um, stay accountable. Something else too is we we love leftovers and I think that's really helped us stay healthy. Yes, that was a we'll, question. We'll bulk, we'll like make a ton of stuff, ton of food in bulk, maybe like a soup or maybe it's Greek bowls like we had tonight and we have leftovers and then we just get to eat it and it tastes so yeah, good. Yeah, so we don't technically meal prep but what we do is we will, when we make a dinner, We'll make, sh- we'll make enough for at least there to be another meal out of it. Yeah. At least one other meal. Sometimes we will eat the same thing over mm-hmm. and over and over. What pre-workout slash post-workout products do you recommend? I would say less than half the time I use pre-workout. I don't think you need pre-workout. Honestly, yeah. I think that even I a cup of coffee. I think it can be an addiction. I think it can be an addiction, but I think even like a cup of coffee could suffice. We have been taking a lot of new pre-workout. It Which has, I like. It's been good. It tastes really good. But like, if there's one thing, if you can only afford one thing, probably just get some protein powder in bulk because it'll be more affordable. Yeah, all these workout supplements are really expensive and they're really confusing. This one says, what do you do to get rid of a bloated stomach? Let's just say if your stomach's gonna be bloated, it's gonna be bloated. I, mine gets bloated all the time. Mm-hmm. Don't think it doesn't because it does. Like it has gotten huge recently, especially if you're about to have your period, it just happens. But something that can really help is drinking a lot of water and green tea or like, Anything that's kind of like neutral, it's that helps, I would say. How do you reaffirm yourself when you don't see immediate results after a workout but only feel pain? Ooh, yeah. I think that you have to know that there's no such thing as immediate results. Nope. Anything that you're going to get immediate results, it's not going to be a long term solution. Some pill that's going to make you lose all this weight. There's so many things that, like Abby said, just make you lose water weight. And for long term results, I really think you just need to. 
um, have consistency with going to the gym, have consistency with eating healthy. Having a healthy diet is actually even more important than going to the gym as far as I'm aware. Like eating is the like the number one health thing. Now obviously like sleep is important too and obviously going to the gym, but a great place to start is really just by eating healthier. On the more on the fitness side, I think the best thing you could do for yourself mm -hmm. rather than being like, okay, I'm gonna start this week, I'm gonna go to the gym six times this week. Yeah. I think the best thing you could do for yourself is to set realistic, consistent yeah. um, steps that you could follow and actually stick to. So maybe six, like six is crazy. Like what if you're like, I'm gonna work out on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, three times a week for you know 40 minutes and I'm gonna make that happen this week. Yeah, you need sustainable goals that you can actually accomplish. Yeah, consistency is more important than anything and there's no such thing as immediate results. If it is, then it's a scam. If it says that, it's a scam. What's your favorite healthy snack? Maybe like- Greek yogurt? Yeah, I was gonna say Greek yogurt with granola, honey, and uh, raspberries. Oh, I like- Or blueberries, oh. I like making myself a little uh, poo poo platter. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that is that like the the ham and the cheese? So and the I have crackers? like a little bit of turkey, some cheese, some crackers, and some apples and some baby mm -hmm. carrots. I guess another one for me would be a protein shake. So yeah, I'll those either are do so cho good. chocolate protein with peanut butter and frozen banana, or I'll do vanilla protein with peanut butter and frozen banana. Yeah, pretty similar. But, People uh, want to see a before and after of what we looked like before we both started going to the gym. I don't think I look that different. Yeah, I don't know if we both, I really don't know if we look that different. I feel Actually, so different. Actually, I am starting to look different. I noticed what I, yeah. I was like, whoa. My I'm, upper body looks different. The same, I think I'm getting more cut and stuff. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think that I do look a little different, but if we sh showed you pictures, I don't know that you would totally notice. Favorite workout <laughs> yeah. clothing brands? I wear a lot of thrifted clothing. I like never even wear a shirt to the gym. Actually, I'll wear a shirt to the gym, but I take it off once I get to the gym. I like JD Fit. They have really good stuff that's a more oh, yeah. affordable price. That was nice of them um, to send us some stuff. Yeah, they sent us some things, and I actually really, really like it. That's a good point. I do wear JD Fit. I like things I have from Mono B. They sent me some shorts, and they're very nice shorts. I have a set from White Box that I wear <laughs> literally every single week that I, I love. Then I have like a pair of Nike shorts that I've had for like eight years. I wore those when I was like literally 15. I have random clothing items that I've had for like way too I'm long. I'm like, what has been going on here? Yeah. How much did you know about CrossFit when you started? I knew literally oh, nothing. absolutely nothing. It was just the only gym close to us. They were really patient and kind mm -hmm. with teaching the movements at our gym and I really appreciate that because I knew nothing. Yeah. And the last question is Matt's booty exercises. I think they meant to put it in a question mark. I have just been blessed with a, a good dump truck, I guess is what oh some people would say. Oh my gosh. The I really, it's really that. not even that big. There's a guy on TikTok who has a huge butt. You know the guy that I'm yeah, talking that about? No, but I think just like doing squats is probably the way that, that we I don't know. We build that I feel up. like body type has a lot to do about it because I do type. squats the same amount of squats as you do, and my booty is. But it's not like you're following a squat program. Like if you follow the squat program, you could definitely, but your legs would get bigger too. It wouldn't just be your butt. Yeah. Like it wouldn't, it, it's not like. You can't just really isolate the butt like that. This All was that super to fun. say that once again, I believe that every food can belong in a healthy diet. Enjoy food, enjoy your life, and take care of your body so that you can do awesome things. And build up, build up a routine where you're going to the gym consistently, because I think consistency is so, so important. We hope that this information was helpful for you guys in some way. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and gently tap the like button down below. You can just click it. And hit subscribe while you're at it too. We really want you guys to be a part of the family. We're gonna go ahead to a photo shoot now. We love you guys so much. And as always, three, two, one. Peace, Peace out, out, dudes! dudes.